thing in where to start. For the third time in the last week, maybe creeping towards 10 days, I've been followed to the shop each time I leave the house by the man that set me up next door. So I've had to talk to the shop manager to tell him that the solicitor is going to want those CCTV images of him arriving at the shop after me, deliberately arriving. Today, exactly the same thing. But this time, not at the shop. I knew he was going to be about, my instincts were screaming at me about it. So I was taking extreme care because I knew a threat of violence with baseball bats and his younger relatives has already been made, which I overheard. Um, the desperation is now starting to sink in with him that he tried to gas me in my bedroom, me and my dog. Um, he knows that's all going to come out in court and he's not feeling it quite confident as he was about the court case. So he's been trying to set up a second setup or a confrontation. So on the way back from the shop, I'm riding along on the pavement deliberately knowing that he's about. Just my instincts are telling me he's, he's here somewhere. Got round the corner. On my uh, last little bit of the journey back to my home, well, I'll call it my home, I'll just call it the living space now, it's not my home any longer. Um, riding on the pavement, I can see a female jogger coming towards me, looks quite fit actually, nice blonde, but wasn't what I was getting distracted by. Um, she started making moves to uh, jog in the gutter, um, but I just already stopped and got out of her way. As she got level, I said, I've had to uh, ride on the pavement because this man just driving past in the car has already tried to kill me. She said, really? She said, I remember this. Just in case it's needed. She said, you take care. So I carried on on my journey. Mr. Murphy's already on his way to the shop then. For the third time in the week. Already spoke to the people in the shop, spoken to the landlords. Can't call the police because the police can't be trusted. Because they're saying it was an unprovoked violent assault when I was actually defending myself against what he was trying to do there. He deliberately got a witness there, was waiting for me to arrive at the shop, set the whole thing up. I really don't know what to do now because I'm in a situation where I've got threats of violence made against me. I can't trust the police. The police know that I know my rights and have already told them if I have to defend myself again, I won't hesitate to. And if I feel my life is being threatened, if they come for me mob-handed, I will use whatever force I deem necessary to protect my life. So, this is the state I'm in. As you can hear, I'm a little bit annoyed about it, because I can't rely on the people that are supposed to be there to protect us. Because they're busy playing fucking corrupt games. You know, this ain't on and I ain't having it. So we shall just let it play out. If an attempt's made on my life, like I've told my father, will probably happen before the court case. Um, it'll be whatever it'll be. But. I'm not going to go down not fighting. If a move's made on me, I'm going to defend my life. Simple as that. I don't give a fuck what the courts, the police, or anybody else has got to say about it because they've ignored the truth 
and they're pushing a lie. So I've got to do whatever I've got to do now. I'm staying at home, can't go out because I know that's what they're up to. So I'm stuck at home, more or less under house arrest. Not how I want to live in this country, so I'm not going to be living in this country for much longer. I'm absolutely disgusted with it all. Don't want no part of it. Won't support it in any way, shape or form now. You know, it's had me thinking about stuff I shouldn't have been thinking about in the last week or so. I'm not going to prison for no dirty, corrupt little wanker. You know, he's just trying to get me evicted. That's all it's about. But this is how he's choosing to do it. So if I get listened to, I get listened to. If I don't, I don't. This is all being left as a permanent record on my YouTube account. My other accounts are all being shut down this week. Um, in case I decide to just walk away. Which is looking more and more likely. Go start again somewhere else. Get the peace I so desperately need in my life at the moment. Okay, cheers for listening.